The new national leadership of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Senator Abubakar Kigari, the Deputy National Chairman North of the All Progressive Congress, has taken over the National Working Committee of the party following the purported resignation of Senator Abdullahi Adamu, the party's national chairman. The development confirmed the widely reported resignation of Adamu at the weekend, who was said to have tendered his resignation to the Senator Yola Omishare, the party's national secretary. Kerry came in with the deputy national chairman South, Ima Enuku, the national vice chairman Northwest, Saliu Lukman, and national vice chairman North East, Saliu Mustafa, and national vice chairman North Central, Moazu Bawa. Well, joining us to discuss uh, the resignation and, of course, the new um, acting chairman of the APC, we have Vincent Isien. He's a member of the Board of Trustees of the All Progressive Congress Professional Forum and also a member of the Dissolved Presidential Campaign Committee. So good to have you join us in the studio. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you for having uh, me. A man wearing many hats. Let's, let's start by looking at some of the um, accusations and some of the drama within the party that led to Adamu's resignation. Now, um, let's even start from the picking of an anointed candidate for the senatorial um, leadership and that of the speakership. Um, we remember that when the first list of names or when the party had um, spoken about some of these officials that were supposed to be picked, Adamu had come out to say the list had not come from the party. These were rumors. And also there were those who were previous members of the party had accused him of redrawing three billion naira from the party's coffers. And th there have been several, you know, other issues that have been cooking before Adamu's exit. Um, what exactly could have changed from the party's national convention and now? Well, um, Senator Adamu has served in the office for um, about a year plus. And um, he came in really as a kind of stopgap, you know, because um, we had a pro process before we had a caretaker committee. He was actually chairman of the reconciliation committee that was set up to mend fences uh, amongst the various contending groups in the party. And then they felt that he could handle that office. He handled it. He did his best, and we had the convention. Now, um, clearly, there, there, there seemed to be, have been a few issues with the way he ran the party. And um, right away, the president has just, we had a new president, President Bola Tidubu, and the issue you, made, you, you talked about, which was the, sent, the picking of the leadership of the National Assembly, he kind of gave the impression that he wasn't in, in tune with what happened. Um, perhaps politically that was something that was a bit touchy because as the president of the, of the chairman of the party, you're supposed to superintend all processes within the party. So that gave an inkling that maybe something wasn't right. But perhaps the way he also came out wasn't right too. Mm -hmm. You know, because I mean, as, as, a, as, a, as the leadership of the party, you're supposed to convey it's a, 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 a feeling that the party is together, united at all times. And I, I, I thought there were ways, the other ways you could have handled that, you know, that issue of that, because clearly the outcome of the, of, the, um, of, of the leadership of the National Assembly was something that the party was very concerned about, was very determined to achieve a specific result, and I think we achieved that result. So I, it wasn't really um, right for anybody to kind of give an impression that there was something that wasn't together in all that process. That's what I let's, let's go back to before the National Convention. There was also a situation where Adamu had announced the, speaker, uh, the Senate president as uh, the somewhat preferred candidate. Um, this also, at some point, ruffled feathers. Could it have been that he, he, he only played along for, I mean, because... Why would the party chairman not be in line with the party's agreements? The party, the, the party chairman is supposed to be representative of the party. Is it about the man who emerged as president, or is it just a, an Adamu situation? No. Um, well, at the time he made the, the pronouncement of um, the then Senate, Senate president, president. Uh, who is now still a member of the Senate, of the Senate yeah. um, he said that that was a choice of the party of the party as it is. 
uh, there was, we were going, we were heading to the convention. That's the convention to pick the candidate. So everybody was a candidate at that point. So perhaps he threw his lot with that candidate or, and he tried to come, but the problem was he tried to convey the position that that was a anointed candidate of the party. Clearly that didn't play out because we went to the convention and we had um, a candidate that came out with a unanimous victory and that candidate is now the president of the country, President Bola Chinibu. So again, that shows that perhaps he played the wrong card at that time. Could that have played out now? I think the, the president is not somebody who, every, everybody who knows the president isn't somebody that tends to um, be vindictive? No, not, not ordinarily. If you look at his history, no, not, that's not something. But I, I just think that it, it has to be his capacity to work with, because right now we have a new government. So you're government. saying to me, no, and no, no, no. We have a new that government. Adamu is not a people's person, that most of his actions were done solely by himself and not in the party's interest? Is this what you're telling me? I must, I can't say that. But you, again, I mean, there, 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 are, there have been a few members of the National... you saying that there's not so many words. There, 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 there are a few members of the National Working Committee who have made um, these um, positions that they, they weren't working as well as they should. But I still think that he's a party man. He's, he's a very experienced politician. I mean, from from PDP, a former governor. I mean, I'm not going to disparage him. And he's a, he's a, he's a well, he's, 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 his CV in politics is uncontestable. So I just think that maybe, and he's decided to um, step down. If, I think that's, I have to really give, if he stepped down, I give him a lot of credit it, because that's that's a sacrifice to make, you know, because um, if it, doing that shows that he has the interest of the party as heart. If you think that the party will do better with you getting out of the way, and you decide to make that sacrifice, it's something to be commendable. Yeah. It means that you actually have a lot of uh, interest for the party, and you you want the, the the future of the party to continue to be strengthened. So again. His stepping aside is not a dent on his character. It's actually a plus for his character. Yeah. Because if people think that you're the problem, and that's my view, well, it should show. Sure. So I think that he's done a very good thing if it was, if, if it was felt that he had to um, step, aside. step aside. I think so. Let's talk about the new acting chairman who is um, uh, Mr. Kiari, who apparently he announced the resignation of Adamo on Monday after a meeting with the National Working Committee. Let's examine him now because you are talking about the future of the APC now under this new president. Um, um, even though many would say that the president has a lot of work ahead of him in front of him and should not be involved in party politics, but he is also a party man. But let's look at Kiari and, and his um, antecedents and if he will be able to deliver, because I mean, Adamu had just a year, his tenure was pretty short. Mm. Let's, let's give some background to Mr. Kiari. Um, Senator Abubakar Kiari is a very experienced um, politician, chairman, uh, deputy national chairman North. And um, he's, uh, the little I know about him, I don't know him very well, but the little I know about him, he has a very good network of relationships because I know the people that, um, I, I am very well connected with him. And again, he, he seems to, for me, as a my generation, he seems younger. Uh -huh. you know, I, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that, uh, that was a, that's necessarily could, a Could problem. this also be a, an injection no, 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 of yeah, young, yeah. For, for, new, again, you know, again, again, into the party. again, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. So again, the, the job of a national chairman is, is actually very, very, it's, it's very, very wide and vast, you know, superintending the National Working Committee, NEC, 36 national chairmen, and there's so much to do to, to unite the party. So, um, but again, uh, uh, Senator Kerry is really an acting chairman, so mm -hmm. we don't know how long that, that uh, position, that situation will last. But for now, he's the acting chairman, and he has... To me, I think he brings a lot of energy to the party, and it's a big plus. That's what I say. Looking at the um, history of political parties, whether it be the APC or the PDP, 
and national chairmen and the age range of these chairmen. Um, do you think he has a lifespan? I mean, it, he might be acting, but he could be conversant. But do you think he stands a chance knowing the big wigs and the ones who would supposedly say they carried the party on, the ba on their backs? Does he stand a chance? Um, from your perspective? From my perspective, ordinarily, um, we were actually supposed to have a, a national caucus meeting and a neck meeting. And there's actually, I think in the calendar of the party, there's, the next major is a convention, and which is an elective convention for the party. So um, uh, my thinking is, and I'm, I'm a lawyer, mm -hmm. I'm thinking that he's going to run that process. You know, and to get to take the party to that point, how he plays out in the whole. Um, again, like I said, he's, he's he's the little I know about him is he seems to have a good good following, a good um, network yeah, within the party. But so did Adamu, and so did several other chairmen. Um, so did Oshomole. So did um, yeah, Oshomole is different. Yeah, Oshomole, you know, yeah so Oshomole. I'm just saying, looking at the history of all of these chairmen. They all obviously start out having great networking and, you know, maybe a very semi-good um, pedigree of sorts coming up with, within the party. But then the job of national, um, nation, the national chairman is almost as big as, you know, the job of a president. Yeah, it's big. And, and the, the, well, the thing right now is that we have a president who, like you said, is a party man. You know, he's somebody who's, who's built his politics from the party. So... Um, Unlike what we had before, um, he's not somebody that is going to really turn away, look away from the party. That's my view. And so um, my, my advice for anybody who's working within the party is to make sure that the party works in sync with the government. Mm -hmm. Because this government has a lot ahead of it. And one of the, one of the platforms that it can use to achieve is through the party. So I think, um, Abubakar Kakia, my, my advice is that and for the National Working Committee and the entire members of the APC, is that the party should be behind this president because the president needs our support. Uh -huh. and, and that's what I expect the party to do. Quickly, before we go, because we're almost out of time, um, we saw a former president, Muhammad Buhari, mostly stay aloof. We also saw a former president, Goodluck Jonathan, sometimes stay away from party matters and allowed the national chairman and the working committee to do their work. Um, but then you have s suggested that Tinubu might be all in. Um, how does he do this without becoming overbearing? No, I, I didn't say all in. I said I said, said he's, he's a party man. No, I you said he's a party sure. man. He's a party man. He's, he's he's a party man. He's a consummate politician. So but where does he draw the line? He's a president right now. He's yes. a, he has is, he has a big president he has, of the country. He not has a, a he has party. a big he has a big um, agenda for the country. But like I said, the party needs to be behind him. He won the office, he won the election on the platform of the party. So he needs a party to back him. And he's a party man, and I think he's going to galvanize the party. So I think the job of the national chairman, the national working committee, and the national executive committees is to ensure that the party is behind the president to achieve his agenda. And uh, I'm thinking about Senator Kerry can do that. And um, I. You like you're right. I, I, uh, President Bola Tinubu will be somebody who's hands-on with respect to the party. Maybe unlike uh, um, President Buhari, you know, he's, he has he has more network within the party. You know, one-on-one -on -one throughout, and he knows. I mean, the number of people he knows within the party, down to states and um, even local levels says that he's not going to totally be out of touch with what's happening in the party. Mm. Well, what happens uh, in the next few days before your postponed um, um, convention or your... Yes, of no, course, you're supposed to have... No, that has also been postponed. Uh, the neck and caucus... The neck and caucus has been postponed. postponed. So, well, what happens after now remains to be seen. So we'll keep our fingers crossed exactly. and, and keep watching. Exactly. Well, Vincent Tessin is the, a member of the Board of Trustees of the All Progressive Congress Professional Forum and also a member of the Dissolved Presidential Campaign Committee. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much. All right. Well, that's the show tonight. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget, if you want to play catch up on all our previous episodes on Plus Politics, just go to Plus TV Africa on YouTube, like, subscribe, and of course, you can never miss any show. I'm Mary Anna Cohn. We will see you again tomorrow. Have a good evening.